असलम वेलकम टू अवर चैनल बॉटनी विद यूट्यूब टुडे आई एम हेयर अ पेस्ट्री स्कॉलर आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट अ टॉपिक ओ माई कॉर्ड्स इंट्रोडक्शन ओ माई कॉर्ड्स एनी ऑफ अ ग्रुप ऑफ फिलामेंटस प्रोटेस्ट variously classified as the phylum omicota or the class omicetes they are filamentous which must absorb their food from surrounding water or soil or may invade the body of another organism to feed botany with youtube is our channel If you are new in our channel then please try to subscribe our channel firstly classification there are some order families and uh, species and genera of omicetes phylogenetic tree you can observe here Mexomycota, Omicota, Eumycota, Phylum Omicota, their orders and their classes you can observe here in this chain. characteristics of omicota member of this group shared the following characteristics they are heterotrophic by absorption morphology they are filamentous cell wall composition as cellulose and storage carbohydrates are glycogen characteristics of omicota asexual reproduction is by zoospore that are produced in zoosporangia the zoospore produce are biflagellated with one flagellum of the whiplash type and the other of tensile type sexual reproduction is heterogamous and occur by direct injection of male nuclei from the enthridium into the x contained in the ogonium omicetes class anatomy and function their cell wall are composed of cellulose its main purpose is to absorb food from its surrounding most omicetes produce self moving spores which are called as zoospores these spores swim through water in search for food they also have two flagella these flagella have different structure and function filamentous coenocytic sometime unicellular overview of omicetes you can observe here end diagram habitat omicetes are commonly known as water mold and not all of them live near bodies of water most of them are terrestrial mode of nutrition omicetes and fungi share a nutritional mode they feed by secreting enzymes that degrade polymers such as cellulose lipids and proteins then import the resulting buildings block into their own growing cells like fungi 
all my seeds reproduce by sexual and asexual spores botany with youtube is our channel share our channel share our videos with your other friends colleagues and researchers reproduction they are diploid life cycle they have sexual reproduction ogonium female gametophyte and thridium as male gametophyte spores may be biflagellate zoo spores asexual reproduction occur with the help of spores for example o spores life cycle you can observe here in diagram they can reproduce by asexually with the help of zoo spores cyst formation then germ tube formation then the oomycete structure will be formed and it can also reproduce by sexually impacts on animals some water mold are parasite to some animals they can grow on scale eggs of some fishes and amphibians one good example is the water mold they are parasitic to organisms such as rotifers nematodes arthropods and diatoms impacts on plants some water mold affect plants too such as root rotting fungi seedling dampening mold blister rust white rust downy mildew they invade plant like grapes lutus corn cabbage and many other crops plants impacts two water mold have had a major impact on world history which causes late blight of potato and some downy mildew of grapes and some downy mildew parasitic terrestrial plant act as a pathogen impact on human being potato blight disease of potato and tomato plant that is caused by the water mold and oh my seed cause some of the most devastating plant disease affecting crops and ornamental plant and trees they result in major economical losses example phytophthora infectants it is an oomycetes or water mold and a fungus like microorganism that causes the serious potato and tomato disease known as late blight or potato blight the organism can also infect some other member of the solanaceae family the pathogen is favored by moist cool environments example you can observe here the potato late blight disease the disease they cause include seedling blight damping of root rot foliage blights downy mildew you can observe here in diagram botany with youtube is our channel like our channel if you have any question you can ask us in comment section and if you want to share your point of view related to our topic you can also share with us in comment section oh my seed versus true fungi similarities between oh my seeds and true fungi oh my seeds are a group of lower fungi that resemble true fungi both are filamentous and microscopic they are eukaryotic organism containing a nucleus and membrane bound organelles 
they are saprophytic or pathogenic similarities between oomycetes and true fungi both types are not photosynthetic organism they cause disease in plants and animals some oomycetes and true fungi act as biocontrolling agents moreover they can produce by both sexual and asexual method difference between oomycetes and true fungi oomycetes are lower fungi that do not contain chitin in their cell wall while true fungi have chitin in their cell wall oomycetes bear a diploid somatic phase while the true fungi have haploid somatic phase oomycetes have tubular mitochondrial cryptis while true fungi have plate like mitochondrial cryptis water mold have diploid nuclei whereas fungi have haploid nuclei cell motile spores of oomycetes usually have two flagella while the fungal spores have only one flagella economic importance saprophytic oomycete play an important role in the decomposition and recycling of decaying matter in aquatic and soil environments In addition both plant and animal pathogenic oomycetes cause serious economic impact by destroying crops ornamental and native plant as well as fish and other aquatic organisms economic importance oomycetes are important pathogen in variety of crops Many oomycetes pathogen have been introduced worldwide as a result of trade with infected plants or seeds causing economic and sometimes also serve ecological damage in new region to which oomycetes evolved the ability to infect plant independently of other eukaryotic microbes and have probably developed unique mechanism of pathogenicity thanks to visit our channel thanks for your concentration for your attention good luck to all of you allah hafiz